So if someone has asked me to solve a problem for them. The problem is a pretty simple one. They're on a standard stage in the events industry. They have XLR tie lines around the place and they need to get MIDI from one position to other positions around the stage. MIDI is used for like time coding effects pedals and stuff like that. So playback as well, all use uh, MIDI triggers to trigger stuff. So MIDI is fine apparently for like 15-ish meters of cable. Often in snakes and looms, you might want to go a bit further than that. You might even want to send it to front of house over a tie line that's maybe 100 to 200 meters long. You can't do that with traditional MIDI and just, you know, taking a pin from the MIDI to a pin of the XLR and sending it somewhere and then back. That's the problem. I think I've come up with a pretty novel solution to this problem. I've done some research online about how you connect MIDI devices to Arduinos and other microcontrollers. It seems pretty simple. Basically, we need to change the MIDI into a TTL signal. MIDI itself is essentially just a serialized signal about 30, 37, 38 kiloboard. So it's quite slow compared to a lot of other serial interconnects. So once it's into TTL, we can then push it towards a differential bus, a bit like DMX. Once it's in a differential bus, we can send it a lot longer distance, and then at the receiving end, we just need to take it from a differential bus back to a standard MIDI. So that's my plan. I think I've managed to get it together from some Arduino references and the like online. So here's my schematic. Essentially, we have the receiving part at the top with the, I'm choosing to use a 6N 137 uh, opto isolator then it's ttl into a sn75176 which is a differential driver and then the receiving end is another 75176 in receive mode which then turns it back to ttl then we just treat the ttl signal as if it was a microcontroller output pin uh, which drives the midi directly via a resistor so that's my plan so we'll prototype that and then see where we get to so I've got my MIDI device here with in and out and I've just cut the cables and here we have like a standard MIDI receiving circuit. So this is an opto isolator. This is actually a 6N137, which is um, a little bit of a controversial choice online. I've got my little diode there, which is an IN4148. Got a 220 ohm resistor. Uh, in the circuit so that's the input side of things and that's optically isolated from the rest of the circuit so here I have a pull-up resistor and then this red red one going across becomes my TTL and then my 5 volt rails or 5 volt and ground rails here so that's the input side of things so then I've got my logic line going over to this 75176 so essentially from this point, this becomes sort of like a RS-485 or DMX type interface. So this is my differential driver. I've got my 5 volt rail, some pull-ups, um, ground and 5 volt at the top. And then this is my differential pair coming out. And so these can be reconfigured in either ascending or receiving configuration. So this one is set up as a transmit, so transmit enabled. And then these two red lines just on the breadboard separate my... This half here is my transmit side and this half is my receive side. So MIDI in. TTL level signal over differential bus. So this would be like XLR mic cable or better. Here we have another one of those 75176 chips. This one's set up in receive mode. So it's receiving the differential pair. And then it's this gray one here is a TTL level signal. And then these couple of resistors here, one is to pull the source to source or the sync to 5 volt rail and then the other one is the signal yeah anyway I've tested this uh, and this is working so this is a working circuit I can send MIDI and receive MIDI from this interface over here through over this differential cable uh, and then back and it's it's received and works I ran into a little bit of trouble so here my red and the green my source and sync I got them around the wrong way that was a, a little stumbling block. And then another stumbling block, I actually wired my, on my breadboard, I wired my differentials round the wrong way. So I had this one in receive mode and this one in transmit mode, which is a bit silly because I want the signal going the other way. So little things to watch out for if you're ever doing a breadboard project like this when you're moving from paper to breadboard. Sometimes just, yeah, you miss silly, silly obvious things. So a few weeks have gone past, uh, back to this MIDI project. I've got a couple of boxes for it to go into. I've got a couple of XLRs that have been scavenged from another project, one male, one female. I've got some um, 
DIN connectors. I've got some uh, DC barrel jacks. So my plan is, is basically, so in each one of these boxes, one to transmit, one to receive, put half of this circuitry, one of the XLRs, uh, I'm not sure which way around I want to put them, and then uh, DIN uh, female in each one with the jack. And then I also need to transfer the circuitry onto these project boards. I don't really know what these are called, just some sort of pre-made circuit board. And then I also need to add on these linear regulators. These are seven, 7805s, I think. Um, and obviously with that, I also need to add a couple of capacitors for the regulation. So that's my plan. So essentially this, this will be split into two, half goes in each box, connectors to make it all work. Uh, I've got a MIDI cable for testing. So here's my plan. 2.1 mil jack, center positive into a uh, 7805 voltage regulator, 10 um, microfarad and one microfarad caps. That's the power in. XLR, so I've got the hot and the cold pins. I'm gonna put the female on the transmit and the male on the receive. So it's like the opposite way around to what you run a mic cable. There's a reason for that. And then the hot and the cold uh, go to pin six, seven on the differential drivers. I've just got that so I can make sure which one is. This is hot is normal, pin six is normally A and um, pin seven is normally B on the transceivers. So there's that. And then I've just reminded myself here of the, the MIDI. So on the receive side, four goes in and five comes out, if that makes sense. So it goes this way in terms of the current loop. And on the transmit, pin four needs to be pulled up to five volt and pin five goes to logic. Get these all set up on the breadboard, get it tested, get some tails put onto a couple of these, get those tested as well, and then just make sure it all works before putting it into the cases. So another step along in this process. Um, so I've got my power supply here. It's running at seven volts, 7.3 volts. Uh, coming in, I've got my powering, at the moment it's powering both sides because I don't have a split breadboard here. I've also changed the, the load side of the rectifier to have a 22 nanofarad capacitor. It was just uh, easier to put on the board, smaller one. And then I've also swapped it over for a socket on the MIDI in. Uh, the output goes over the XLR, just over this cable, just a mic cable, XLR in, the same circuit, and then again out over this MIDI connector here. This is much more like what needs to go in the boxes with all the connectors and all the pins in the right places. Just transferred it basically from the breadboard onto these boards. And you've got the two different regulators, linear regulators, caps there for filtering. This is the MIDI receive side, MIDI in and then differential out. So it comes in, you've got the ISO isolated uh, chip there. And you've got a differential driver there, over three pin XLR, it's designed for microphones. Then it comes on uh, differential back to MIDI and then MIDI back out here. And then I've just got it hooked up to two 2.1 mil jacks for like pedal boards and stuff like that. So that's where this is gonna sit. And I've tested these and these work. So I'm gonna get them boxed up now. So lids are on, I've labeled them up, MIDI in, MIDI out. So yeah, this is uh, kind of the finished prototype. So now it needs to go off to some people who will test it. Um, See if it works in the real world.